Barley, are you enjoying your stay? Excuse me. Excuse me. Look at this handsome dog. I love him so much. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Vlogmas. This is my sous chef for the day. Scout, say hello. We have the tiny baby dog. Oh, hello. Hi, welcome back. Are you excited? It's lunchtime in our house, which means none for you. So I'm gonna make some lunch. Today I'm gonna be having a tahini dressing salad with some frozen Trader Joe's falafel. Cause I just need to eat something. And I'm in like a phase where all I have left to eat in my fridge for me is hamburger soup. <laughs> so I need to get on like making stuff so that I can have leftovers to eat on. What do you think of all these dogs that have been here recently? Didn't have to prove. Barely even like this dog who live here full time. Later that same evening. Don't mind me. I'm just working on making dinner. Here's the tea. When you are <laughs> under construction for basically a year, well, I would even go further. When you're under construction for basically two years on end, things can kind of start to blur together. So upon going through the footage that I have on my phone, I came to realize that I don't have any footage really of when we started the bar. So I'm just gonna sit really quickly and explain how this all came to be. So in a previous Vlogmas episode, you saw that we redid our um, master suite, which I realized as I was editing the footage, I said just little things or something to that effect. Girl, new flooring, <laughs> removing drywall and everything completely is not little things like... So I, I apologize, I was grossly understated what we ended up doing in there. But anyway, we finish in there and again, this is another round of going through construction, dust, whatever. So again, we said, let's take a break. Then, because we had my office in what is now the bar of our house, Andrew came to me maybe like two, I'm not exaggerating, I feel like it was two weeks later, so we, two weeks after we finished the master suite, and he said, let's just call Mike and see what his estimate is to do the bar, because we've been talking about redoing the bar for a long time, which I will give further context to that whole space in just a second, but just to finish this thought. So Mike came by, gave us an estimate, sounded good to us, so we went ahead and went forward with doing the bar, so it is now done. Which you will see the footage uh, that I do have of a couple check-ins here and there shortly. To go back even further, without getting too much into detail, basically what happened was our kitchen was remodeled in November to January loosely. So December 2021 to January 2022. We had our guest bathroom slated to be next after the kitchen. So basically what happened was our original contractor just kind of showed up in April of 2022, so last year, and said, hey, we're here to do the bathroom, which was news to me. We had gotten a price for the bathroom, and then because we were wanting to like move a wall, which I don't remember if I talked about that in the guest bathroom, but we did end up moving a wall that used to be just completely cabinets. If you've seen our original house tour, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So we ended up extending the bathroom. It was about nine inches, I think, that we gained by moving that. So when they came to demo the guest bathroom, they also demoed the bar area, which was kind of sort of a bar, but sort of like a pre-dining, just kind of sitting space. We didn't really have like any plans to do that anytime soon, but they just came and demoed it anyway. And so it was just kind of a room for a while. It's been a few things over the years, but now it is the bar in our house. So rather than leaving it as just a blank slate for God knows how long, we decided to go ahead and just take the plunge. So this is that process. I can go through a quick tour, but it's pretty self -expl Actually, I, I will do that. Let me, let me not cheat you guys out of a good vlog mistake. So here's the process and then I'll be back at the end to give you guys a little tour of the bar as it sits today. Oh, hello. Now would probably be a good time for a check-in. Because I feel like it's been a while, but let me tell you something, it's been a hell of a year and it's August. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea when the last time I did a check-in was, where we were at, what was going on. Here's where we are today. We have uppers. 
We have a wine rack that Debs built with his own two hands. Shelves also. And then this beautiful butcher bar, butcher block bar. Yes. So we're waiting on white quartz uh, countertops, black herringbone backsplash, and then that's pretty much it, aside from these little touch-ups from somebody getting a little overzealous with the airbrush. I'm not naming any names. That's, uh, that's how it's looking. Pretty nice if I do say so myself. Oh, and the window framing is finally done. So it's only been, what, two years almost since we had the kitchen remodeled, and we can finally actually 100% say it's completed. Somebody requested I make drinks, so that's why we already have some Tito's out. But just you wait, once this is done, I'm getting her all set up and loaded, and then that's it for you bitches. I set up the fridge today. She's already almost as cold as I want her. I put it on 37 because that's what our kitchen refrigerator is set to, but I'm pretty stoked, man. She's gonna be a beaut. I might need to put something under there to keep it a little more stable, but anyway. That's where the beers and stuff are gonna go. So. Very excited. Very nice. Love it. Excuse me. That is not your new napping place. No, f us. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day, I think. No, it's later. Look at her. The beauty. To end all beauty. We ended up going with a white quartz countertop. You can't really see when you're just kind of like looking at it as a big piece, but there's like some nice like gray little like uh, veins running through it. I love it so much. I think it looks great. And then tomorrow they're supposed to be coming to do the backsplash. And then I think other than like cleaning the walls and like paint touch ups, that's pretty much it. The only other like small things I can think of are like the trim pieces. I kind of want to paint them black. I don't know. We have some leftover from our bedroom, so we'll see what happens there. And then I also want to measure this window and get different curtains or something. Because we used to have curtains up, up there, but I, I don't want to use that anymore. I want to get the ones that are like in the window and maybe like cloth or something because our cats are assholes and they tend to break curtains. So, they are blinds, I should say. So you see. But doesn't it look nice? It's my bar. I'm very excited. So, see you in a bit. Eventually. Excuse me. <clears throat> Ollie. Ollie. Aren't you a little young to be working the bar? Hmm. Here she is in all her glory. We do have a bowl set up for our guest, Barley. Um, his food is over here, but it doesn't take away from the space. So that is the decoration that I was putting up. Let me get the camera focus right. It's beginning to look a lot like cocktails. And then I also have this sign that Andrew's mom gave me. It says wine, because it's not good to keep things bottled up. And then over here, we have this. My best friend gave this to me. It's a cocktail, well, yeah, it's a cocktails tools set. I love it so much. It matches the bar. And then we have a couple floating shelves. These came from the same butcher block that the bar is made from. So Debs, who works for our contractor, Mike, cut those. He framed this on the bottom with the same one, and then that is what the bar is made of, that you have all of a sudden decided is your perch, eh, son? Moving over here, we have these beautiful white quartz countertops. This is in Mystery. We got it from Ace Granite, which is a local granite company. They have other countertop materials as well, but that's the one we ended up choosing. And then this is our beautiful herringbone backsplash that we got from Floor and Decor. I'm obsessed with it. All of our cabinet hardware is black and gold, which are the colors of the bar, as you can tell by the sink as well. Do have some clean dishes over there. And then down here, we have our lowers. So I have some like party serving type pitchers and things in here. Our shot glasses are in here. That's the bar fridge, which is mostly juice, and of course, my watermelon claws. And then we have our sink unit, extra cabinet down there, and then this is the full bar, which this Deb's also built by hand, and he also did these like end pieces to make it match like the door for our bathroom. I know! So the cabinets came pre-built from Lowe's. This wine rack, Deb's built to fit in here, so it's all custom. 
and then he fixed the framing in this window which used to be just ugly and unfinished from the kitchen remodel but now it's all fixed then we have some glassware and stuff up there and then down here is the height of luxury so we have an ice maker just for the bar and then this is my ninja soda machine thing it makes sparkling or still water you can do it flavored or unflavored so for any time that we need sodas and stuff we've been using this and then you can switch out the flavors that are in here this is just kind of my bar tools and stuff shot glasses which i mentioned so if you were thinking of buying a shot glasses ever please don't we have plenty and yeah that's oh my gosh I can't believe I also forgot to mention. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Why are you showing us this? And I will tell you. So this is the wall I was saying that moved because this on the other side of this wall is our guest bathroom. So this archway didn't used to be here. This used to just be a doorway. And now we had our contractor at the time that they were doing the bar turn this into a nice big archway. So now, let me show you. So before, when I would be in the kitchen finishing dinner, I was just closed off from everybody. But now I can see all the way into the dining room from here. And so when we have people over, I get to be included too and not just closed off. This is still all his little sous chef nook, but he's also now been promoted to bar back. What are you doing? Huh? Get back here. No! What are you doing? <gasps> <gasps> not the baby dog! <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be it for this episode of Vlogmas. Thank you for watching. You can like, comment, subscribe down below. We're gonna go get in bed and watch some TV. And then tomorrow is my best friend's birthday. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I don't know, I'm freaking blind. Okay, bye. Bye.